never ever before such a vast area has been destroyed by the wildfires. Then, floods have devastated large regions of Greece. For example, the plains of Thessaly. The pictures from Larissa are heartbreaking. And let me assure you that our thoughts are with all the women, men, and children who are courageously withstanding these disasters, and we mourn the lives lost. Europe stands at the side of the Greek people, and I want Greece and the Greek people to know that we are with them. Our union is a union of solidarity. It was therefore very important for us to be able to meet here today, Kyriakos, many thanks for coming, and to discuss this solidarity together with your ministers and our commissioners. We spoke about the best ways how to help the Greek people. A lot of investment will be necessary to rebuild, but right now also a lot of immediate support and help is necessary to restore the livelihoods. My main message is that the Commission will be inventive, we will be quick, and we will be flexible. We will mobilize all EU resources that can be deployed. And let me focus on five important funding streams that could be mobilized. First, we should use unspent cohesion money from the last period, which would otherwise be lost, so it's fresh money, and front load parts of the current cohesion funds. Second, the same goes for the European Social Fund Plus that could be mobilized here too. These funds would be lost and can be dispersed this year. So part of the money that can immediately go to Greek citizens to support will also be European money. The third element is the common agricultural policy that can play an important role. Here are two unused funds from the previous Greek rural development program, but we also look into funds under the current Greek CAP strategic plan and we will examine the agricultural reserve for next year. If we look at those funds, they could, for example, help restore forest or farming infrastructure. A lot is needed to be done. Altogether, this could allow Greece to mobilize up to 2.25 billion euros. And then in addition, the Commission stands ready to assess a Greek request for support under the Solidarity Fund. Here, it is important that the Member States agree on our proposal to top up the Solidarity Fund, and if this happens next year, we could make available up to 400 million euros. And finally, Greece could consider to use some of the resources of Next Generation EU, of course, in Next Generation EU, we have all to show utmost flexibility because the revision was just submitted, so we will work with it. My services will work closely on all these operation options with the Greek authorities. We have decided to form a task force that immediate will, immediately will start its work today. Together, we will find the best possible ways to help the Greek people and the Greek people can count on Europe for fast support, maximal flexibility, and we stand by your side not only at, in this um, acute moment, but also to rebuild and reconstruct. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President, dear Ursula. First of all, thank you for the speed with which you responded to my request uh, to meet you uh, and your team to discuss, as we have done today in a very constructive meeting, the ways in which Europe can stand by uh, the people of Greece uh, during these extremely difficult uh, times. I would first and foremost uh, uh, address the gravity of the situation at hand. Uh, Greece has, over the past month, uh, endured the two uh, devastating natural disasters uh, of historic proportions, uh, the megafire in the region of uh, Evros uh, is uh, the largest fire in Europe's uh, uh, history. Uh, and if that was not enough, then we were hit by the massive uh, uh, storm Daniel, uh, which hit uh, the regions of Thessaly and central Greece particularly hard. We've had the worst floods uh, in our history. This is probably one of the most powerful storms to ever hit 
uh, Europe. Um, my, I would like to again express my condolences uh, to those uh, who lost loved ones uh, during this uh, uh, storm. I would like to thank our, our emergency response um, um, teams, uh, um, the civil protection, uh, our armed forces, uh, all the volunteers who are still, uh, as we speak, active in the field, uh, dealing with the aftershocks uh, of this unprecedented natural disaster. This is just one photo uh, of the village of Metamorphosi, how it was before the storm, how it is now, and unfortunately we have dozens. Uh, of villages that are uh, in a similar um, uh, situation. We've had massive damage to our agricultural production, significant damage to our uh, infrastructure, uh, but and most profoundly damage to people's lives. I mean, houses have been flooded, uh, so it is uh, our number one priority to make sure uh, that these people uh, can actually uh, return to their houses, that the businesses can start uh, operating uh, again, and we count on uh, on Europe's support to be able to achieve that. Uh, the good thing is that at least our economy has been performing um, uh, uh, very well. Uh, we are in a position to cover uh, many uh, direct needs without deviating from our budgetary uh, targets. Uh, but uh, I think it is urgent, as you said, for the European Union to show uh, maximum support but also maximum uh, flexibility and to come up with innovative ideas of how to support Greece immediately but also in the short uh, to medium um, uh, term. And I think you touched upon many of the areas we've uh, discussed. Um, we still have uh, uh, additional uh, unused funds which would have been lost, uh, as is you know, always the case in these uh, programs that can be, uh, I think, reappropriated to immediately support people and businesses. I think it is important for people to know that uh, part of the support that they will be receiving over the next uh, uh, weeks uh, will eventually also uh, include uh, uh, European uh, money uh, and of course uh, 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 reprogramming uh, of uh, uh, the financial um, instruments that we have uh, for the next programming period uh, would allow us to direct more than 2 billion euros uh, towards reconstruction but also building back better uh, what has been destroyed. And I do want to stress that because it is very clear that the current rules of the game no longer, uh, the old rules of the game no longer apply to what it is we are, uh, we are experiencing. Uh, and uh, of course this uh, is uh, also true for the uh, instruments that Europe uh, needs to mobilize uh, to support countries that suffer the consequences of climate change. Now, we've discussed numerous times and the Commission is very uh, supportive towards the idea of committing significantly more funds to the Solidarity Fund. The Solidarity Fund uh, was conceived 20 years ago. Uh, it is clearly not fit for purpose, not in terms of the processes, but in terms of the um, size of, uh, of funds uh, available. So I will uh, make it my personal mission to convince my colleagues uh, at the European Council that we need to top up um, uh, the Solidarity Fund with significantly uh, more available funds in order to um, support countries that are struck by natural disasters directly um, um, related to climate change, but there are also other types of natural disasters where countries need, uh, need support. And of course this is also true for the agricultural reserve. It's less than 500 million. Uh, in these days uh, of a significant impact uh, of, of, of climate change, it is also very clear that we need to mobilize additional funds uh, for this purpose. There are many uh, ideas, but we need to convince our colleagues at the Council uh, that this is uh, an utmost uh, uh, priority. I think the uh, important thing now is, as you pointed out, not to despair. We will, uh, you know, we will build back. Uh, Europe is going to uh, support us uh, in, this, um, uh, in this effort. Uh, and I would like to thank you again, uh, Madam President, for the speed with which you uh, have responded to my request. Uh, I would like to point out that we have already set up, as you said, a task force that is going to do the detailed work uh, of overcoming you know, the traditional uh, bureaucracy and making sure that whatever money is dispersed by Europe uh, reaches its final uh, destination uh, as uh, quickly uh, as possible. And I know that, as in many other instances during the past years, we can count on your personal support. Uh, we can count on, uh, on, on Europe's support. Europe has supported uh, Greece during very difficult uh, periods, and I'm sure it will do the same now.
Thank you very much. Very good.